And now Mark does the wheel walk of shame. I do the wheel walk of shame. Actually, I'm kind of pumped. Shame. Shame. It's all shame. how you look at it. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. This is the second video in a series on our trip to Louisville. If you haven't seen the first episode, I will have a link in the description. Kind of helps fill in the blanks of what we're talking about today. If you have watched it, you'll know that about eight miles out of our destination in Louisville, I hit a pothole and I bent the rim and flattened the tire. So this is day two. And uh, first thing in the morning, Woody and I went to Alloy Wheel Repair to see if they could bend the wheel back and get the uh, tire bead to seal so that we could use it on our way home. So today is Thursday, which is kind of like a setup day for Louisville. So, you know, we went and picked up our registration papers and, um, you know, while Woody and I were taking the wheel in, uh, everybody else in the group was getting a big breakfast so kind of starting the day right you know then we set up tents for the weekend and filling up our cooler with tasty beverages Shortly after we started walking around the show, I got a call from the wheel company and uh, it cracked. So it was going to take five to seven days to have it welded and repaired, which uh, wasn't going to work for me. So we started going into other options and I actually stopped at Koi's Wheels. They had a display at the show. They had these smoothies that I liked a lot. They were 18 by 7 in the front so that I could put a bigger tire on and you know it was going to give me a smoother ride up front and then still have the 20 by 10s in the back so I would have purchased these wheels but uh, they didn't come in my bolt pattern so uh, I had to look around for another solution. Last night we were pulling into Louisville. I hit a huge pothole. I bent the rim, flattened the tire. So took it to a alloy repair shop. They tried to bend it back, it cracked. And so they could weld it in five to seven days, but I need something to get home on Sunday. So one of the shops in here has a similar wheel. It is the same pattern, the same bolt pattern, the same width but it's not chrome, it's a little matte finish. So Wood's gonna do some of his magic and we're gonna touch up the other wheels and see if we can get them all to match with and, some Krylon. And now Mark does the wheel walk of shame. I do the wheel walk of shame. Actually, I'm kinda of pumped. Shame, shame, It's all shame. how you look at it. <laughs> so when we get into the exhibition hall Thursday morning, we stumble upon this gorgeous hunk of steel. 
absolutely beautiful Chevy truck. The fit and finish of the entire truck, especially this front end, was just amazing. That brushed finish, the first thing I want to do is just touch it and see what it is and check it out. Obviously, I didn't, but it was just, it just really catches the eye. The light in the exhibition hall is awesome, and it just, the lines on this truck are just beautiful. One of the other things that I believe Justin noticed was all the screws and all the finished trim, especially in this bed, all of these little Phillips head screws are all pointing in the same direction. They're all stopped in the exact same point. <laughs> the detail on some of these vehicles at this show, especially the ones in the exhibition hall, is just amazing. The paint on the interior of the bed was a finish that you couldn't tell if it was like interior material, um, some kind of actual material, or if it was paint. Um, obviously, I didn't touch it to see once you get closer you can tell it's a it's a paint um, but it just absolutely amazing truck interior of it same way the detail and the fit and finish of all the trim panels the seats are beautiful the console steering wheel just amazing overall this truck was just i mean just a piece of artwork and that being said you want to see a truck like this on the road just i would love to pass a truck like this on the road Please, I hope they drive it. Oh yeah. Trailer hitch. What would be cooler than cruising that 64 pulling a trailer with a Cadillac DeVille convertible with a diesel in it?
All right, so that pretty much sums it up for day one. Uh, we still have some work to do tonight. Cam bought some seats at the swap and shop, and Woody is going to help me paint the wheels. So uh, more on that coming up next. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.